inverse of rational functions. Now, whenever you're trying to find inverse of rational function, it is better to start with their domain and range. That gives you a fairly good idea about how to go about. Now here, the given function is f of x equals to 1 over x plus 2, and we need to find its inverse. Now first, find the domain and range of this function. Now domain for this function is, let's write domain, which is dx, is equals to x belongs to real number, but x is not equal to minus 2, right? So that is the domain of this function. It has a vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2. And the range of this function is y belongs to real numbers, but y is not equal to 0. Since we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0, the function approaches 0, right? Now that is about the given function. Now, domain and range of the inverse will be, let's write it down. For inverse function, domain and range will flip, right? So the domain for the inverse function is going to be x belongs to real number, but x will not be equal to 0. So that becomes the domain, right? And the range is going to be y belongs to real number, but y is not equal to minus 2, right? So that flips, and that becomes the range of this function. I have purposely not asked domain and range in the question itself. The idea is, even if it is not asked for, you should write down domain range of the function and its inverse. And it will always help you, right? That is a tip. Now, let's try to solve this question, right? So this is, this is on the side. Strictly speaking, it was not required, but it is very useful information. Now, to find the inverse of this function, we will write x, replace x with y. And so we will write here as Initially, y equals to 1 over x plus 2. And now we are going to swap and we'll write x equals to 1 over y plus 2. Now the idea is to get y from here, right? So the best way of getting it is cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, you get y plus 2 equals to 1 over x. And now you can write y equals to 1 over x minus 2. Okay. So that becomes the inverse of this function, right? And as you can see now, that domain is that x is not equal to 0, right? And the range is that y is not equal to minus 2. Do you see that? So, so you can kind of check your answer. Right? And now you can write f inverse of x is equals to 1 over x minus 2. So that is what the inverse of this reciprocal function is. Now, from here, you can check your domain matches. Domain is x not equal to 0, and the range is. Now, horizontal asymptote for this function will be at minus 2, and therefore, the range is that y is not equal to minus 2. So that is kind of important, and you know it's kind of a sure shot test that whatever you did is perfectly fine. Okay? Thank you.